Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to our Wednesday night MWR real estate program tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about our certified realtor program. Uh, myself, Todd Lang of U.S. Housing Exchange, along with Mario Henry, CEO of U.S. Housing Exchange. We will be presenting some timely and some very exciting information on tonight. So definitely get ready for uh, some very, very uh, exciting news and information as we discuss the program and how it can benefit the MWR network. And if you're a realtor, uh, you know, get ready uh, for some, you know, very exciting news uh, for you to be able to take advantage of this program. So welcome. We see everybody logging on tonight. Wow, you guys got in here quick tonight. <laughs> so we have yeah, they get, they're getting used to us. Yeah, yeah. They're getting used to us. We get we get in our slot. <laughs> <laughs> so good evening. Welcome. We see Terry Reed from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey Terry. Shadonna Carter of California. Mm -hmm. All right. Here, Natasha, she's a she's a she's 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 a beast. Good evening, <laughs> Dad, from Raleigh, North Carolina. Natasha, welcome. Daryl Banks, Raleigh, North Carolina. Teresa McConnell, Kansas City. Got to get out there and get some barbecue. Got to get I'm some out. ribs, huh? And ribs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa Tillman, Durham, North Carolina. Absolutely. Welcome. Jason Thomas, Hinesville, Georgia. Alan Marjorie. Pennsylvania. All right. You're right around the corner. Uh, Tasha Faison. How you doing? Wilford uh, Lefty Bird. Julie Singleton Davis. Atlanta, Georgia. The ATL. Welcome. Welcome. Way to represent, family. Way to represent. We're going we're gonna to really drop some, some good knowledge. Hopefully we have a lot of realtors, real estate brokers on this call. Uh, we're gonna only we're only gonna do a few more uh, sessions. No matter which program you see, you see we're doing a presentation. Soon it'll be opened up to where it won't be the canned presentation because, as I said, I get bored of saying the same thing all the time. So we want to be given more information, new information. So that way, when you come, it's not just a canned presentation where they're saying the same thing every time. And then you could archive and look at the archives, and you could be able to see, you know, the stuff that we talked about before. So, um, Todd, I think it's a uh, I think we should be ready to get into it. Okay. So we have this, our program called a certified realtor program by making wealth real real estate. Okay. The certified means certified in our process. It's our process. Okay. Cause it's unique. So it's not just saying, you know what? I work with investors, so I should be able to work with your program. It's a little bit different because we're doing something on an inverse basis. We never buy the property first. We start with the end buyer. So you got to know how our program is going to work. And then you do so, you're going to have the biggest team in the United States that's bird dogging, which means that they're hunting for more deals for you to sell. So it ends up being a very good mix because we're there, our membership is going to be motivated because um, they're going to be getting, or we, because I have a sales team as well, we're, motiv we're motivated because we make money on memberships. We also can make commissions off of referring buyers into the program, properties into the program. Uh, so you'll hear our the term capital contributors. Uh, that's our investors uh, that's going to partner with us to do deals. So there's just a lot of different things going on. But at the end of the day, we're buying. We're, we're, our goal is to be the biggest, uh, biggest section, biggest uh, denominator of uh, private uh, residential real estate flips in the United States. And we're going to do that. OK, so this is going to be a historic movement and we're going to be unlocking a big portion of the country that's only renting due to the fact that they have uh, derogatory credit. So, 
So imagine if you had a company, imagine if this was Shark Tank, imagine if you had a company that could service 70% of the renter population, that our renting population is about 47 million renters in the United States. Only 30% of them were polled to actually want to rent. So 70%. And right now, there is nothing for people who either maybe they don't want to go into another lease or maybe they're not qualified to buy. So we have to come up with the hybrid of a bridge program that we could actually utilize to be able to get as a think of training wheels. This is like buying a house on training wheels. That's what our program does. Okay. So when we look at what is happening now and we have access to this many people, they just don't know who we are yet. They don't know. So as soon as you tap somebody on the shoulder and say, you know what, you're going to be able to fire your landlord then guess what? You woke them. You showed them. Now, you mean to say I can fire this landlord and not have to deal with having a landlord anymore? Absolutely. There's also close to 2 million vacant properties in the United States. you got 100,000 baby boomers turning 65 every single day. And a lot of them are having empty nest syndrome where they don't need the house that they raised their kids in. Some are going into 55 and older communities. Some are going into senior communities, assisted living communities, and everything. So some of these houses that these seniors have, they're, you know, if it's like my parents, they still got wallpaper in the house. So not everybody's going to have the money to be able to make things modern. So then when we're buying those houses, we're buying at a discount. The difference is, is we're going to match the end buyer up with these properties and understand we're not caring about the current market. We're building this platform to last generations. So please don't mention or care about the fact that we're in a uh, seller's market right at the moment. We have some ways that we're going to go around that. Okay. Our goal is to be the third option, which is transition, transitioning somebody from owning to renting. We're not just going to ship somebody out to a credit repair operation. We're going to give them what they want right now. That's what our goal is. Okay. So um, that's, that's, that's that one. So what qualities are we seeking in our realtors? The first thing we have to have somebody with an open mind, because if you're not an open minded person, then it's no use even being on the call. Now, if you feel like you know everything, then there's no use of us being able to tell you that you might be able to sell an extra 15 houses a year using our program. But we're going to give you the tools for that to happen. So you got to be an out-the-box thinker to be able to do this. And when we talk about working smarter, we have over 17,000 members of MWR. So then imagine you having people that's using a network marketing concept, but it can actually benefit you. Because now you're going to have all these people that if they know you're a realtor and you're in their team, then now you're going to have everybody in that team promoting you because you're the certified realtor. Okay, so then now we're creating an army of people to assist you, which is working a lot smarter than working harder. So I don't care if you tell me I sold 50 properties this year. If you don't want to sell 60 or 70, then keep doing what you're doing. We're showing you ways that you can sell more. Okay, so our program is here to help people not just make money. You're going to hear about us making money, but that's not the motivating factor on why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so let's go through a little housekeeping so we could talk and do some education for those. Some of you may know all this already, so, you know, just bear in mind, some of you may not. So what is rent to own? It, you may hear it as lease option, and you may hear it as rent to own. So it just depends upon where it is, but it means the same thing, okay? So you typically, and 10% is probably a little light, but about 10 to 20% of the sales price, there's typically called an option fee. So you get a lease, 
and you got a certain period of time that you can exercise your right to be able to buy this property. Okay, so when if you exercise your option, means that you get qualified to buy, now the option fee is applied to the sale price to serve as your down payment. That's what a lease option is, or rent to own. Okay? Now the pros to that is that, you know, it's very flexible, meaning that if you had your time in there, and let's say the property depreciated, you know, let's say you got in and you bought your property through rent-to-own or lease option uh, maybe two years ago. Now you got a lower price that you have a committed buy at, but then now maybe prices have gone up twenty, thirty thousand dollars, but now you've locked in a lower price, so it protects you against the hedge of the market if it goes up. But then now, suppose your property value goes down. Then it allows you to walk away. Now, you may have lost 10, 10 20%, but suppose it was back in 2008 and you lost 40% of your, your, your property value. I doubt that's going to happen like that, even when I see the market you know, uh, go back in an in a, in a other direction. But it's still going to protect you from... It, it, you, you pretty much can lock in your pricing. The cons, cons is it's unreasonable down payment, you know, and, and, and so there's not too many first time home buyers that have 10 to 20 percent of one hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It's just not sitting there. And then the interest rate that you're going to be getting, you're going to be paying out because guess what? You don't really have that much control. So you got to pay an unreasonable down payment a high interest rate, and most, not all, but most landlords is going to give you the value of the property on what they anticipate the value of the sale price is going to be at the end of the option period. And some sellers are very unrealistic. So even though you're there protected against a high market, they may have already started with the high price. So you have to look at that. And then the down payment is non-refundable, and you don't have any home ownership rights. Okay, the other side is owner finance and lease purchase. Now, in a state where I live at in Texas, rent to own is frowned upon. So, you know, out here, people will do owner finance or lease purchase, which means now they require more money down because it's more risk of the seller side. Because now what happens is, is the seller's actually financing the property. So then they're not using a bank, they're not you doing anything. But now you own a property but you had to put 15 to 30% down. And the interest is going to be about 6 to 8%. It's typically a little bit less than what a rent to own would be because they got more security of what they're putting down. Okay, but the seller also dictates the sale price, which is going to be higher than the current comparable sales because they're financing you. And most owner finance, what they'll do is they'll say, okay, you got a two to three year term and then a balloon, which means that at the end of two to three years, you better refinance or else at that point, they're going to you know, call that loan in and either force you to um, refinance or if you're still not qualified, they could fight you to be able to, um, you know, fight you to end your option. I mean, end, your, uh, end, end that because they called in the loan. And they could start foreclosure if they want, or they could demand more, more of a fee. Okay, so that's what the problem is with owner, owner finance, lease op, lease purchase. Okay, and so also back to you know where that is with the with the home ownership piece. You know, they would have to foreclose to get you out. So you do have home ownership rights, but you're responsible for making any repairs. OK, so that is there. And like I said, the down payments, non-refundable. You're going to pay more than what the property's worth. And the buyer is responsible for repairs and maintenance. Now, looking at those two options, lease option, rent to own, owner finance, lease purchase. That's it. That's all they got. We're going to come in with something that the market has not seen. And there's small programs like Divi and a few other these other different programs. But I'll get to that in a second off of what, what separates MWR real estate with the rest of the competitors that are going to be out there. Trust me, we got a blue ocean. This is ours. Okay? So we're going to match the motivated buyers with 
distressed properties, motivated sellers, or vacant land, which we can do new construction. So imagine buying new construction for a credit challenged individual and all they had to do was to come in with three and a half to five percent of the down payment and they could get brand new construction. We're working out, we're working out of our first complex that we're doing in Houston, Texas. We're working out the particulars. We're doing a feasibility study on two acres. Looks like we're going to be doing about 32 uh, or 16 duplexes, 32 houses. We're working on, we're working on the particulars on that right now. Okay. So when you do that, we charge rent temporarily or owner finance. You could call it what you want, but because we're creating our own space. So it's not even really defined. So we're going to be calling what we're calling it. And that's what this thing is going to be. All right. But the rent, we're pretty much going through about 1% higher than the published FHA rates because we're that confident that we're going to convert these clients in a six month or less period. OK, um, the pros of our program is you're going to have a lot of flexibility. We're not going to say. Uh, you know, you could only choose from, you know, this one property that we're lease optioning. So a lot of times when you look at owner finance or lease option or whatever, you're seeing a person advertise a house and then you're saying, okay, this particular house will work, you know? So with ours, we're going to let you shop with our realtors, with our certified realtors, which is you, you're going to be able to shop for our end buyers and find a property that works. OK, now, even in this market, we're landing on properties. So uh, so uh, it works. Now, our buyers are going to know they're going to need to be more flexible. They're going to have to expand where they're looking and say, OK, I'm going to add a few more zip codes. I'm going to go a little bit further out on where it is that I am. They got to be flexible. OK, then when the, we buy them a house, they're going to get a custom renovation. So it's not going to be what we think that they want. We're giving them what we know that they want. Okay, within reason. We're not doing HDTV remodels. I mean, we're not granite down or anything like that. But it's going to be a nice house, a very nice house. Okay, we got the construction management and quality control. That's the pro. And, you know, the mortgage is done in-house. We have a direct relationship with Cardinal Financial, which works on all 50 states. And I just happen to be um, connected to them. So from the support, from building credit to the closing table, everything is done between MWR Real Estate, U.S. Housing Exchange, and Cardinal Financial. And we're all communicating at the same time. Okay, so cons... The biggest con in our program is the fact that the individual is going to determine the success. So if you are the type of person that can't follow a roadmap, and that's even though we're speaking to realtors, we do have a lot of buyers listening. Our success is dictated by that person's ability to follow directions and stay disciplined. So that's the con of the program. It can also be the pro of the program, too. It depends on who we're talking to. Okay, but the realtor's role, remember, U.S. Housing Exchange are our affiliates of MWR Real Estate. Uh, we, we're buying it all with LLCs. We have over 300 LLCs from MWR that people bought LLCs. And the majority of them are people who want to partner with us to do capital contributed joint venture deals. So in any of our deals, we are the client, not the buyer, not the my landlord is fired buyer. They're only there to be able to dictate what we are going to buy because we're not going to buy something if we don't have an end buyer. Even in this market, people are like, well, the market, you could just buy anything. There's an inventory shortage. We're staying disciplined. We don't change our role due to the market. We don't do that because that, that dictates bad habits. So we're going to, you know, uh, 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 a person once told me that a lion will attack an ant <laughs> with the same velocity as they'll take down an antelope or something else. 
So we don't change. We're going after the same method. End buyer. People are bringing me properties all the time, and I'm like, you got an end buyer? Well, look at what you can make. I don't do things based upon what I can make. I do things based upon my exit strategy. That's how you have to be, okay? Properties are selected based on our program criteria, and the my landlord is fired buyer's needs, okay? So our buyers are going to be uh, they're going to be pre-qualified, and then they're going to have an after-repair value price that they can qualify for. So then when we get a realtor on board with us, they are going to know what the after-repair value of the properties needs to be. So example, if and I don't know if I have an example in here, but if I don't, excuse me, uh, but if we buy a property that's for, let's say, $200,000, we don't want to be into that property for more than $150,000, and that's the acquisition cost and the rehab cost. Okay? People are like, ah, that's a good one. You're not, we'll wait because we're not going to compete with investors that don't know what they're doing. Because any investor that's going to pay more than 75 LTV and they're not doing buy and hold and they're flipping, you know, they're, they're crashing and burning. I'll let them take that house. We're going to stay disciplined as far as what we're doing. All right? Wow, I gave the example. <laughs> That's right here. All right, so 75% of the after repair value, which includes the acquisition and rehab costs. Okay, now our rehab costs are going to be a lot less than the average investor because the average investor is going to hire a GC, and that GC thinks that they're, they're uh, you know, why people are, why don't you use general contractors? I got an uncle, I got a guy. No, we're not using that. <laughs> unless they're going to work in our way because the problem that I have with general contractors, they feel like they're entitled to the profit of the developer. And I'm like, no, nah, man, you're not going to be doing that. Okay. So we are the ones who's taking the risk. You're doing the work. So that's why when we look for our senior construction advisors, we make sure that they are actually doing the work. We don't look for people that's going to say, well, I got a crew. No, because all you're going to do is you're going to try to do make about 30 to 45 percent markup on the actual labor charges. We got other ways that we can actually um, we got other ways that we can do this. So any of our head people that are running any of the jobs, they're going to be licensed. So, yes, they will be licensed uh, you know, contractors, but a GC that's licensed, they're going to get the people that's on those houses that's working. They're not licensed. They're working under that GC's license. So we're doing the same thing, but our GCs are called, um, senior construction advisors and they're actually doing the work. An example in Atlanta, what was that? What, what, what did they tell me, Todd, a hundred grand for the rehab <laughs> after I passed out? And after I cursed everybody out that was giving me those prices, we ended up getting a guy, and for a fraction of that, we're getting the quality, we're getting licensed people, we're getting everything that we need to make this house pop. Because if we end up not managing that rehab correctly, then nobody's going to make any money. So that's what we have to do, and that was the hardest part of what we put together. So we have to have enough room for the flip for pro flip for a profit partner, a two percent seller assist, and the closing costs. Okay, so that's how we that's how we're doing it in the back end. So the benefits of being an MWR real estate certified realtor, it's amazing. You know, to me, doggone fly, <laughs> but to me, this is the biggest no brainer ever. Because right now, I'm sure you've had people that you've contacted that have filled out real estate applications for mortgage companies, and they were rejected. They're coming to you at 550. They're coming to you in these 580s, and you're hearing the mortgage company, hey, we can do it at 580. No, and then you find out they can't, you know, that you can't. So what happens now is that when we look at everything, and we look at what we have to do, how much of a percent of that renting population do you want? 
How much of the renting population would you want to be able to advertise as a certified realtor that you can have them buy from you for three and a half to five percent down, but they have to be in this membership? They have to be in the membership of MWR Financial to get access to this program. So then now you're going to be able to refer credit challenge renters to our program. You're also going to be able to sell memberships. Okay, because the membership, they have to be in the membership to get access to this program. So that means you're forced to make money on the membership and you're going to be making residual money through these memberships. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, these MWR folks, I thought people were crazy when I first went to one of these things until I saw what people were making and what they had the potential to make. Then I saw it and I said, I get it. I started dancing too. All right, because you're going to see some very happy people because they can actually control their destiny instead of following the old dead program of working for a job for 30 years and getting a cake and a watch and know you're running out of money and know you're going to work for the rest of your life. So that's what you're seeing excitement on whoever invited you to the call on why they're recruiting you is that right now you got to be a slave to the commission that you make. But using this membership, there's going to be more avenues for you to make commissions than just when you sell your properties. Okay, so that's main thing. Plus, we're giving you an extra 1% commission just for going to the closing for our buyers. Like our deal in Atlanta. We bought it for one, 130, 145. We're selling it for 320. So imagine if you were the realtor that got 3% of the 145. Yeah, that's great. It's cool. But then now, imagine four or five months later, you get a you get a one percent commission for three hundred uh thirty two hundred dollars. And what's that for? That's the tip that we gave you for finding that type of deal for us. And just recording the testimonial of our clients at the closing table. You are right there. And that testimonial is gonna make you money. So we're paying you to make money because then now people are going to know that you're the bad credit whisperer, <laughs> the bad credit whisperer, helping people get into homes. That's what we do. So right now we're going to be developing uh, a landing page for our certified realtor program. We're working on it. Hopefully we can have this done within the next month, month and a half tops. It's not going to prevent you from stopping, but every last one of our certified realtors will get their own landing page. Okay, now this is a real estate broker that's in uh, Atlanta. And if you go to, uh, what's that website, Todd? Fire, fire Your Landlord Atlanta, or is it Fire My Landlord Atlanta? Huh? No, you must be mute, bro. I can't hear you. Well, it's gonna be. I'll bring up another window real quick. Yeah, I, get to, I, yeah. Can, I'll bring. I'll bring it up. But go ahead and right. continue talking. Yeah. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is we want social media to really help you. So, what is gonna happen is when you go to and get this this deal, you're gonna see our promo video, which is gonna prove that we can actually help credit challenge people own a house and get to the closing table. That's what is happening. That's what you're going to have at the disposal. So you're going to ride off of my 14 years experience in flipping properties. So you automatically are going to get connected to us. So then now you're, you're, you're bad credit much. These folks can get properties bought for them right now. We had hundreds of investors in MWR Financial inboxing me, hey, put me in, coach. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So we got a gang of folks that's going to be ready to do exactly what we're talking about doing. Did you find which uh, website it is, Todd? Yeah, I'm bringing it up now. All right. Oh, it's Fire My Landlord Atlanta. I always get confused whether it's fire your landlord or fire. This is it. Yeah. I thought there's like, there's not a header on this thing. 
this don't look right, man. Oh, oh, your computer's log is uh, coming in. All right, so imagine now when you're promoting this, you, you get the testimonial, great opportunity to own a house regardless of credit with very liberal guidelines. Get started now. When you click get started, that's going to your MWR uh, membership code. It's going to be right there. So then now people can sign up to get into the program for the home ownership for 80 bucks. We charged a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars for entry to come into this program. So because of Brian House's pretty good negotiation, <laughs> we've waived our fee to come into the into the US housing exchange. As long as you're a dues paying uh, a dues paying what am I saying? Yeah. <laughs> MWR you member. You're paying your dues. Right. CTE. CTE got me. I'm a former athlete. I just totally <laughs> just froze up there. So now imagine when you're a certified realtor, you can end up having somebody come. That's why everybody's trying to recruit you because they know that you're going to make a lot of money because guess what? Not only are you going to be making your, your commission, but you're also making 600 bucks for every end buyer that you're referring into the program outside of your commission, then you're getting the 1% extra at the end. That's why when somebody tells me, hey, can you convince this realtor? I'm like, I'm not convincing nobody. I'm not convincing no one. So please don't ever talk to me about, can you convince this guy? That word convince is a turnoff for me. I'm like, we're laying it out for you. We're laying it out. What was that site again, Todd? My landlord is fired Atlanta.com. No, it's not my landlord is fired. It's it's not my landlord is fired. I know that. It's fire. Sorry, fire fire my landlord Atlanta. God, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> fire my landlord Atlanta.com. So that's what we're talking about. And you know, myself and Damo. Uh, you know, Brian and, and the tech team from, from MWR financial, I don't want to speak out of turn, but you know, I want, I want to make sure that people are going to get their MWR sign up form for them to go straight into membership. And then now if they're just a client, I haven't had one person that we bought a house for not refer at least two people into our program, not one. So now you're going to get that person come in as a member, and then now you got six months to get them into a full-fledged membership to where they can make money off of the referrals, okay? Okay, let's get back to the program. We're almost done because we're going to bring in – we're going to bring in a star in a second, okay? But the process, there is no coming directly to U.S. Housing Exchange. You can't. Because the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to see if you're a member of MWR Financial. If you're not a member of MWR Financial, we're kicking it right back to the MWR Financial platform. So if you recruit somebody, please do not just have them come straight into the buyer's program. Okay? So that's where that is. You know, all of our um, realtors have to understand our process. So if you are a certified realtor, you need to be using all the programs that you qualify for. Maybe if you have an 800 score, you're not going to use the credit. But you definitely need to use the debt eliminator, which uh, uh, our guest is going to talk about that very soon, and the tax services. Because the better you are as a certified realtor means that you understand the MWR financials platform. That's what you're also becoming certified in. Okay, so, you know, the rest is not going to be applicable to the realtor because I want to make sure the call stays talking about the realtor process. Uh, a lot of the other process deals with the end buyer. Uh, but to be a certified realtor, you not only got to know how our buying parts work, and we're going to have, um, and I know I said this before, uh, but we're waiting for the official announcement, which we can get into very soon on when that's going to be. And then not only will you be able to sign up, but you'll also get the information necessary for you to be able to utilize our different programs. We're doing a podcast every month. 
Like I mentioned, doing the presentations off of the PowerPoint are a little boring to me because I like to talk about different things, but we need to do these things a couple more times. Uh, then we want to just start talking about topics related to uh, whatever it is that we're talking about. We want to make it to where, honestly, if you miss it, you missed some good information. So we don't want to make a canned presentation all the time. Plus, I know you guys are probably like, dang, he said that last time. You know, So we want to be able to keep coming in with some fresh information. Okay? So, um, you know, we're going to have a link with a lot more details, and we're going to have a lot of different PowerPoints with strategies. We're going to have some uh, – some Zoom sessions that are going to be a lot more intimate We're going to, with, with, our, with our realtors so we can be able to create the foundation of where everything's going to be. Okay, now, before we get into questions, before we get into questions, I definitely want to bring in Andamo. Okay, I want to bring in Andamo because he's going to talk about one of the biggest plugs outside of everything I said on why a certified realtor is going to be important. Imagine if you could say that buying a house from you would be a cheaper net cost of that house than any of your other competitors because you have this membership with MWR Financial. Imagine that. Imagine you buy, you sell your house for $250,000. Your competitor sells that house for $250,000. What if our house net cost is going to be cheaper? That's what Andamo Tolson, president of MWR Financial, is going to show you of one of the, to me, the most underutilized uh, tool that a lot of our members are not using regularly. I'll use this thing to death. <laughs> so, Andamo, whenever you're ready, come on, and then we'll get to some of your questions. And, you know, honestly, guys, in an hour, we can't cover everything. So you always can use the ask the expert link question if you get a question. You don't got to wait a month. You know, just fire that thing off so you can be able to get the stuff in. Is Andamo coming? Good. Hey, there he is. Here I am. There How you doing, uh, Mario and Todd? Hey, hey you the man, you? bro. All right, you the man. Right. I'm getting my popcorn out right now. <laughs> well, what we're going to do is just keep this moving so everybody gets it right away. I'm going to take them to this site. Let me pull this up. And this is in our MWR financial uh, membership. It's it's part of your financial edge membership. We're in the, in fact, let me just go to home just so you can, you guys can see this. Oops. Now I got to go. Oh, man. Let me see if I can go back. Oh, okay. All right, let me do something here real quick. I have to call an audible. <laughs> okay. It'll, <laughs> wait, it'll just take a moment, and we'll get this back on. I did. Uh, what did I do? Okay, let me go. I have to go to a different site. Uh, it'll just take a quick moment. You guys will see it here. Boom. Let me go back. Okay. I know uh, for our, our great producer extraordinaire, Ms. Martina Britt Yelverton, I'm handling it. I'm going to get it right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. He, Martina is here, serious, man. I, she's I, serious. I, she's, okay. <laughs> Martina gets it done. Okay, Martina, let me pull it up. I think I'm ready now for you to kind of show this. That, Do you see my screen? Swapped out that <laughs> cricket laptop. I got you. Right. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you see my screen? <laughs> you see my screen now? Yes. All right, fantastic. So this is the front page of our our um, website for our membership, uh, the Financial Edge membership that you heard Mario speak about. I'm just going to drop down to debt elimination. You can do it here or you can go down here. Let me just show you. This is where you get out of debt and our system of paying off all of your debts in record time. So let me just show you the member access button. And what I'm going to do is go over to this worksheet editor and what you're going to see, and there's a lot of great information here, but this is just one of the benefits of having an MWR Financial Edge membership. So what this does is this is just a, a fictitious person, but I just put a couple things here. We have 
the um, person with their first mortgage, they have a home loan of $237,500. They bought a $250,000 house. They put 5% down. They got a 4% interest rate. This is their monthly payments. This is their escrow. And, and then here's where their car, and just so you know, it's real easy to, to indicate and put this information in. You just, you have a drop down menu to say what kind of debt you want, you have, you put the information in here, and then it kind of puts it all here. Once you hit save it and then come back out, this is where it is and it appears. So that's how easy it is to put this information in, but people put all their debts in. So here's someone with a car loan, Oh, this this is all, all weird. I need to edit this. Nobody has a twenty five thousand dollar twenty five dollar car loan. <laughs> hey, hey, that hey, good, man. I know, paying four seventy one a month. Okay, all right. So here it is, right here. You can see there's. So this is a typical family. They they have two cars they're paying for. They have a credit card with the balance on it. And they have a personal loan because they got some furniture or something. And these are the payments on everything. So what this can, does can that, can that get yeah. blown up a little bit? Uh, I don't know. Um, okay, we'll just we'll listen just take, to what it you is. You know what you know what you can do. Um, I don't know if Martina, you could take me completely off the screen so everybody could just see this. Maybe it'll get a little bigger that way. Yes, sir. You can, and you can also. Screen. Can you hear me, Anzalmo? Yes, I can. I can. You can also press Control and Plus on your keyboard, and it'll make it larger as well. Control, Control and, and Plus. plus. Thank you for that. Oh, I see that thing up there. The I've never known that. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's, that's why she's the expert, man. Yes, it is. Yes, she is. But now, when you do that. It, oh, I it made I made it too big. Okay, I went nuts. Okay, let me go. Control plus. No, hit the minus. Hit the minus. Oh, hit the minus on it. Yeah, control plus. And let me go. Oh, I'm gonna go control minus. I'm sorry. Control minus. Control minus. Yeah, this is gonna probably be about as big as we need it right here. That's about as big as we're gonna make it, so everybody can see everything. So here is showing you have a total balance of three hundred thousand dollars. This is what your payments are that you're making total in total. And because you don't have any freed up money, let's say you're just, you know, paycheck to paycheck right now, you're not adding anything to your total. That's what this is for. You save an update. When we save an update, now what you do here is immediately, this is one of the things that your clients will love. They could be a brand new homeowner. The day they buy their home, they have their already have their MWR financial membership because they've gone through their buyer's program, then what they've done is right away, they can literally click on just, you saw, let's say they just put their debt in. Now you can go over here to click on the analysis form. And what you're going to see is a debt-free date and a millionaire date. This tells them when they're debt-free. Something else you'll see is that we expose the creditor's plan most people don't realize that creditors have a plan for you, which is to keep you in debt for as long as possible. And we share our debt elimination plan that this will be changed where it says debt elimination, but it says equity max now. And then what happens, you can see that the payment amounts, the monthly payment amounts have not changed. Not one penny is being extra. And this over here gives you some things to tell you about it. But as you look at the creditor's plan, you'll see they were supposed to be in debt for 30 years. They were going to pay $186,000 in change in interest, and they wouldn't be debt-free until June 2051. Under our plan, they're going to be debt-free in 13 years, not 30, 13, paying the same money. They're only going to have $95,000 in interest that they're paying. So this tells them that the MWR uh, debt elimination system, you can completely be debt-free 17 years and zero months sooner than your creditor's plan. This alone will save you over $90,000 in interest. Hey, Amy, uh, Jamo, yes. Jamo, on that $90,000 now, when you factor that in, that's not just $90,000. Because guess right. what? You're paying your, your mortgage payments with after-tax dollars. Right. So that's not gross. That's net. So how much would you have to earn in your paycheck to save $90,000? That's what my point was, is that our certified realtors, by offering this to their buyers, whether they come from us or even in your regular, even your regular buyers, you're, you are going to be able to say that you potentially can get yourself a house that's 
ninety thousand dollars less than that other day. Then that did, bro. I, that just that tripped me out. <laughs> then that net that net cost. And so here's what happens. We even show you that if you took that same money, this same money, twenty five hundred dollars here, and you paid it, you started investing it. That how fast you would have fifty thousand, a hundred, two fifty, and a million, and it still shows you how much debt you're having. So what it's saying in the same time that the MWR, the elimination system, will help you accumulate two hundred fifty thousand dollars cash, which is here, your creditors would still have you in debt for approximately two hundred eleven thousand dollars. Then it kind of gives you some motivating things where after 17 months and 16 months later, when you would have certain amounts of money, it shows you if you put your money and got these kinds of returns, 3, 6, and 12, over 10, 20, and 30 years, what it could grow to. So this is a very motivating factor for people. Then it also does something that I love is it breaks everything down. So the person can see, oh, I'll, I'll pay off my home in 13 years. I'll pay off my car loan. It was supposed to be five years, six months. It'll be done in four years and eight months. And my other car was supposed to be fi uh, five years in a month. And it's all down to four years and three months. But you can see exactly what is done. And here's where Mario was saying. Your net for the house, specifically to the house, is $80,000 that they are going to pay out. Less than what everyone else is just doing the same thing. Now, here's what's exciting. You think that's exciting? Watch this. Let me go back, and I'm just going to go to services. I'm going to go to debt elimination. Then you're going to see me do something here. I'm going to go back to our worksheet editor. Okay, and under the worksheet editor, what I'm going to do is say, because they have an MWR financial business and they like what's going on, but they started telling other people that, oh, I, I can do this. And so other people, they kind of join them. In fact, they had a little team of 12. They had three people who told three people something like anything like that a combination of 12 here's what they did is they said you know i'm making an extra twenty dollars a day which is six hundred dollars a month what if i applied that six hundred dollars because right now i've been able to cover all my expenses so i don't need the six hundred dollars but what if i applied it to my debt so they took the six hundred dollars said well what if i that they're making from mwr financial said what if i apply it to my debt we save and update we show that they're paying six hundred dollars more and let me do the saving update now. You have it there, total margin. Okay. So now, okay, I know what I did. Because this thing, I because I know what's happened. I have to make it smaller because it's... it's. Uh, oh, handle your, uh, hand your business, bro. Okay. All right. Now, so we're going to go in here and we're going to put... Six hundred dollars. So I thought, okay, six hundred dollars. We're gonna save and update. And I'm not sure why it's not doing it, but let me just check something, make just in case. It should let me go back to our analysis because it should. Okay, it's doing it there. It's just I, somewhere it's not doing it. But you could see you're paying six hundred dollars more than your nine career. years. Oh my god! And look what it did to your. Instead of being 13 years, you're down to nine years and 10 months. Just adding that $600, and guess what? You're now saving over $117,000. This is for all of your debt, but you can grow down here and say, what did it do to your mortgage? That means you're only paying $59,000 in interest versus $170,000. So when you look at that, that time, that, that's $60,000 minus the one side. That's $110,000 that's to the good for that person. And like Mario said, how much more money would they have to make to save that $110,000 over a 10-year period of time and put that away? That's what they did for themselves. And this is the power of this program. And again, they can be looked at in any kind of way. We have people in MWR Financial, just from having the results that they got from their own services, telling other people, they literally have gone out and made thousands and, and tens of thousands of dollars in income on a residual basis. But if I just use and just say, oh, they went out and now they maybe they're they're doing they made they have a program where with with about a hundred and uh, fifty people or so, they would have a, like three thousand dollars a month. Let's say they only took half of that. So I'm going to go to this editor or the at worksheet editor again. And if they only took half of that, and let's say they said, well, we're going to take this up to $1,500 because we have the ability to do so. And how fast can we do it? I just want you to see that, that this can be shown in so many different ways. 
They put the $1,500 there. You see down here, it shows that this is all the money that we're paying. We're gonna go back over to this worksheet, uh, this analysis. We're gonna look at the analysis. We're gonna see the debt-free date is now September 2028. Uh, data. Look what it says, seven years and three months because they were able to add, add $1,500 extra. Now, where did that money come from? It just came from the network that they're building within MWR Financial, the residual income that they're building, and they just are adding that to pay off their debt faster. This is how we've had people pay off all of their debt. And, and, and we have a, a gentleman that paid off all of his debt, completely debt-free, house, everything. And he did it in three and a half years, or two and a half years, I should say. And he did that because he could do these things and see what happens and how he could become debt free. So we have uh, over 7,500 testimonials about the services that we have here. And I'm just gonna take you back to the home screen. And so again, membership has its privileges. So we're helping people reduce their taxes, negotiate their bills, eliminate their debt, and, and improving their credit. And then of course, wealth accumulation is where real estate is. So with that, um, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Well, Mario, actually, I'm gonna drop this down and so I can see the screen now again, and we can get some questions answered. And so, so before we ask the question, so you guys gotta be able to recognize that's the one of the tools that people have with the MWR membership is A, they're gonna get access to the program. B, you're gonna get access to more commissions. C, you're gonna be able to be a hero. I promise you, when you start talking to people more than just selling a house, they're gonna be, they're gonna be with you residually and that's gonna help you be able to eliminate debt. Go ahead. Okay, so if you have questions, just put them in, in the chat and we'll get them answered and uh, we, we have about seven minutes to get it done. So you want to put your questions in right away. But Mario did such a good job at laying everything out. You may have answered all the realtors questions. I hope so. But I don't know. <laughs> you I might know, see about 50 questions right. popping. <laughs> A, co a couple, there were a couple early on, but you answered them before they ever could get, get get after it. So it was phenomenal. So I see things now. Yeah, Clovel said, I don't have any questions. Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest thing is we want the realtors and real estate brokers that are out there to understand that, you know, this membership is not your mother's network, not your grandmother's network marketing company. You know, we're not... We're not out here selling Tupperware, selling vitamins or pantyhose or anything like that. We're doing stuff that's going to actually make a difference in a lot of people's lives, and we don't have any competition. Yeah, it was completely unique, so powerful. Um, while Richard Smith says, my mind and my ears are open wide. All right, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> You see what Gwendolyn, she said, this is really awesome. Uh, I'm feeling bashful. All, this, all these compliments. I'm just. <laughs> Genius, Eugenia saw it as well. Great presentation. Look at that. No questions. Look at look at what uh, well, Alexandra. Well, uh, Brenda, Brenda asked, what do I do to become a realtor? Are you asking, what do you do to become a certified realtor oh, with us? Or to be a realtor in general, I'm sure there's going to be some realtors that will swoop you up. <laughs> you know, if you just want to be a realtor, but if you want to become a certified realtor, Andama will announce uh, when to expect that. Thank you, McCasey. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, McCasey, there's no questions. We could just go. Just lost sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, you might be staring at the ceiling tonight, brother. <laughs> All right, Michelle Cromarty. I'm ready right. to be certified. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Marty. Yeah, Marty, that's very nice. Okay, well then, I think. Oh, here's we have one uh, from Kel Calvin McDaniel. He says, "How do I bring my motivated sellers and my end buyer?" Well, you don't have to be a member right now to be a motivated seller simply because of the fact that we're in a seller's market. So we need inventory. So if we know that you have a motivated seller, we just would, uh, we're, we're going to have a sign up form. Are, are the new links, Andamo, going to also include seller? Or are we bringing that in at some other point? Yes, yeah, at some other time. Right now, it's just the, the buyer. They would just go through our, our, our program. They would come. Um, I, you know what? I can do this so they can see it. I'll show them. So okay, good. How you bring the motivated seller for now 
is just ask the expert and put their put their contact information on there, and then one of our operations manager, he will probably be the one contacting them. Uh, he contacts a hundred percent of the people that if you're an MWR and you and you hear somebody with the Nigerian accent, he's not calling from Nigeria. He's he's right in my <laughs> office in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jack is awesome. But if you go uh, pull up my screen, um, uh, Martina, and then if I'll just show you real, real quickly where they would go, they would come here to uh, this is where the financial edge, where all the membership uh, details are. They would go to wealth accumulation. They click on member access. Which you see right here, and then over here at MWR Real Estate, they would click here on member access, and then all they would do. Uh, if is to get started here is they would click this get started button. Now it's going to change because what's going to happen right now, right now, here's what's going to happen. They're going to go right to, let's see, it'll go right to uh, U.S. Housing Exchange and they'll take care of it. But I, I want to give you a glimpse of something of what it'll look like here as early as next week. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, we'll go back to wealth accumulation. We'll click right here real quickly. And it won't have these specific questions, but it will have a situation like this. It'll have, you know, schedule a consultation uh, and you click on it and then it will ask you some questions. And all you're doing is filling out this information. And once you fill out this information, it's going to, and there, again, these questions will be different. But once you fill out this information, you click submit and it'll go right to uh, the uh, Mario staff and they will take care of the MWR real estate. They will take care of everything as we go forward. It'll be that simple. So they don't have to wonder what to do. They'll click on uh, MWR real estate. They'll click on buyers and then boom, they are right. They're just getting a form like this. They'll fill it out and it'll go right to where it's supposed to go. And they will literally get a call saying you're in the program. We're going to walk you through. And I like the way, um, Mario, you put that earlier today. We kind of babysit. I call it mother ducking that buyer, and which is most most times are the first time they've gone through it, or maybe they've only bought one other house years ago, and they had they just aren't used to these transactions or what to do. The realtor no longer has to be slowed down to try to mother duck that person and make sure they become a, a end buyer. We do all of that for them, so by the time they're ready to buy, we connect them back to the realtor, refer them, and boom, there's there's your commission. Absolutely. So okay. that's going to give you guys a centralized way where business comes in. You know, while our two companies was trying to communicate, uh, you know, I want to apologize because you didn't have, I mean, some people were trying to come in through Facebook. Some people were trying to come in through LinkedIn. You know, they're finding me all over the place. <laughs> Surprised somebody and knock on my door saying, I need to get in the program. <laughs> but, uh, you know, now we're going to have one way for people to come in and kind of go from there. And then as, as Mario said, if you have any questions, you just go right down here. Any questions at all pertaining to the real estate division, you just go right down here and click on Ask a Real Estate Expert, and all of those questions get answered. So any okay. questions whatsoever, they there, all get answered. There's a couple questions that came in. Uh, so uh, I can't speak on the MWR app and when that's coming out. Uh, okay, we, can, we can drop my, my screen, and then we can get these questions answered. Uh, okay, great. All right. So uh, it says, when is the MWR app coming out? That That's really not for this call, but it'll be very, very soon. Very, very okay. soon. Uh, very soon. I'm talking a few weeks. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Can you explain the role of the buyer paying rent in the process? Who do they pay and when? And that's Vernon uh, Uzel. That's a good question. What it's going to be is going to be Uh, on where that would be, it'll probably be one of the U.S. Housing Exchange affiliates. Uh, you know, because it's going to be whoever it is, it's going to be getting the loan. It's going to be one of our companies because we're the ones who's getting all the loans with the hedge fund. Uh, and the hedge funds, uh, they're the ones who's lending us the money, you know, to buy all these properties. So we have to pay interest. So then when you're paying us, we're paying the, the interest. So it's a kind of an offset. So that's when they do it. And who do they pay and when? It's going to be like any other rental contract. It's probably going to be on the first 
uh, for the most part, and that's when they're going to be making those payments. Okay. Uh, these are the last three questions, and then we'll, we'll go on and, and, and move on because we're right at the top of the hour. Uh, Calvin McDaniel said, so uh, will basically U.S. Housing Exchange, will they will or call it NWR Real Estate, uh, will they go out and check the property that the offers are made on? So that he's just wondering about that process. Um, so we do a lot of stuff virtually. Todd is pretty much in charge of the construction team. So he works hand in hand with our director of construction team. So they've done a lot of stuff to where they're doing things virtually. You know, they're doing things through um, those, uh, those, those, those pads. What, what is it you're doing, Todd? I don't want to take your thunder away. Unmute yourself so you can answer that question. Yeah, I mean, also too, we, and this is part of the certified realtor program as well, is that we would leverage um, you know, like in Atlanta, we leveraged the uh, realtor at the time to do the walkthrough. We did that in Indiana as well, along with our uh, construction managers that were remote. They had, you know, were engaged with the realtor as the realtor did a walkthrough. You know, the um, construction managers on our team would guide them and say, hey, can you go in that room? Can you check that out? Uh, and we would, you know, do a walkthrough virtually as well as having the, the realtor engage. Uh, and as we're building our uh, construction team throughout the country, you know, we have SCAs that will have in designated regions that will be, uh, you know, the ones that will be doing the walkthroughs. Okay. And then the final question, basically, are, are there real are refinancing options? And I'll just say this, Dwayne, because yes, the answer is yes. Um, but they they just go to ask the expert, let them know, hey, I'm looking to refi, then it'll get handled. Uh, right now, you'll see that more evolve later. But if you don't have your own refinance person, then you could just go right there and, and get that handled for you. Yeah, we have something with Cardinal Financial where your appraisals will be reimbursed. So it's another perk of being a member. Um, you know, you get that, that's like a $550 value. So, you know, we could definitely help you with refinancing. Just make sure that, you know, if you're asking the expert, we're going to respond to you within 24 hours. Uh, so just make sure you're, you're there to follow back up because sometimes we're asking additional questions through ask the expert and then you guys aren't getting back to us. So then you're not able to start taking the action. So it don't, if it's a boomerang, you throw it, it's coming right back to you. Just know that I'm I'm I, I'm not ever gonna you, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. You put a question in there, we're gonna answer it. All right. But I want to thank everyone. Next month, uh, next month we're gonna have some uh, you know all real estate brokers definitely be on the certified realtor call. And so you know we're gonna show you and we're working out how to get a territory in the in, you know in a territory. So then now you know you could actually get onus of the properties that are going to be in those areas. So definitely make sure that you communicate. If you're a realtor, a certified realtor, you're in the program, make sure you get your broker on the call. It's going to be very beneficial for them. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Martina. I appreciate you, Martina. Uh, you're the glue holding all this stuff together. Todd, I appreciate everything you're doing, supporting us and supporting me. And Adamo, it hasn't been for you, we wouldn't be here today. You brought this to us, man. So I appreciate you, man. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you, members. I appreciate all the MWR. Yeah, appreciate all MWR for the love and and, and embracing us. Uh, we're going to make some money together, change the, change the world. That's it. Let's go make history. Take care. Thank you. All right.